Local parents are asking school boards to reconsider offering a virtual learning option as they did in the spring. Rising COVID cases in K-12 schools have many parents worried that their child may get the virus or spread it. Greene County Schools offered a virtual option prior to the beginning of the school year for families to apply for, but many school boards didn't give the same option. Bertie County parent and local nurse Latoya Thompson created a petition asking for a virtual option in Bertie, a choice she says all families should be able to make for themselves. For the kids who do have underlying health issues or may have somebody at home, it will give them a better chance of controlling the disease in their household. I understand, understand some parents don't want that option. That's why I say let it be optional to the parents. If those who want to send theirs, let them send them. The ones who feel that it's beneficial for their families to keep their kids at home, let them keep their kids at home. Thompson says it can be difficult with the number of students in schools to correctly contact Trace. But how do you know if John Doe was in the bathroom with Sally, with Sally Smith? It should have been a requirement that each student had a COVID test prior to school starting. But not all parents feel the same way. I reached out to the community on social media and the responses were split. Some parents want the option of virtual learning. Others don't believe it should be offered at all. Those against the option say it's not as drastic of a situation as it's being made out to be. And kids don't get as sick from COVID as adults do. Another side, students have been out of school long enough and they need that in-person instruction. Katherine Beavers from Greenville Pediatrics says the numbers they've seen since school has been back in session is staggering. It started happening about three weeks ago almost instantaneously that we are seeing twice as many kids, about 120 a day now in our sick office. Their office has had to close one building to treat sick and COVID positive patients only. She says that's creating a backlog of appointments for things like physicals and regular checkups. She's had to ask the Pitt County School Board to offer an extension on required paperwork like physicals for students until they can catch up. I've asked them to reach out to the state um, to see if we can get an extension on the 30-day uh, leeway for doing this because we physically cannot fit all of these kids in our other two offices because of the fact that we're seeing all of these sick kids. The State Department of Health and Human Services reported more than 9,600 children tested positive for COVID the week of August 22nd, and that's just the first week back in school. Mom Thompson says she's not surprised at the number of cases. She says children are physical beings. They need to touch and feel to learn. I have a four-year-old. He thinks hugging, touching, and that's the way they learn. They learn through play. They touch. I spoke with Greene County Superintendent Patrick Miller, who says only around 80 students signed up, and now that option is closed for the rest of the year as the county is outsourcing for its virtual learning. Superintendent Miller tells me the option will not become reavailable.